Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. And thank you for being here for your weekend reading. This is going to be for the Earth Signs, but also to the Cross Watchers. Uh, if you are dealing with an Earth Sign, then this reading is going to be helpful. And we will be more intuitive. So we're just going to go with the flow of things, see what comes up, what we can clarify. But before I begin, if anyone was after a private reading, please feel free to email me um, and I can send you over the details in order to book. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. And if anyone did want to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only tarot readings and member-only content. So feel free to do that via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, let's let's get a feel of what's going on here for you at the signs in this current energy. Okay, I'm definitely picking up a vibe that you are sort of looking to the past or there's someone here around you and they're sort of looking back. Um, okay, I get that two people who are no longer connected are actually thinking about each other at the same time. So I feel like with the knight and the page, it may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Aries here as well, but I feel like there is someone here who... I feel like you're, you're th you've been thinking about this person at signs and they've been thinking about you. I don't think contact has been made just yet. I feel like there's been a lot of thinking and dwelling and remembering. So it can be someone from the past. It might be someone you've also known that it's like you almost had a relationship with them. Some of you did. You had a relationship with this person. You had a connection. For others, it's more like you almost had something together. But I get there's a lot of thought, okay? I get that this person is thinking about you a lot um, at this point in time. I feel like something huge may happen with the Wheel of Fortune is behind you here. So something you weren't expecting is sort of going to creep up behind you here. Um, something about being a very special weekend for some reason. I feel like something about the timing of this this upcoming period is is, is special, for some of you, it could be like an anniversary, it could be a new tradition you start. There's something that's very sacred or very special about this time frame for some reason, or it's about to be. Maybe you don't realize, maybe it's it's about to be um, coming up here for you. I get that there, you may be having some regrets uh, of signs. I feel like you're sort of looking back on a situation um, some of you feel like you wasted your time with a person or a connection here and I feel like there's a lot of like healing I, I get that there might be some anger or some frustration at the person the things not turning out how you wanted them to so I get that you're sort of trying to like find an outlet for some of that anger which would be good like if you're trying to find a way to release it I think you're going the right way about it um, about releasing that kind of energy I feel like you need to uh, you need to release it um, with the fool, I get like you've, you've, some of you have like embarrassed yourself, <laughs> like you've made a fool out of yourself or you, you know, I, I see you like blushing or feeling like really giddy or something you've potentially embarrassed yourself or you feel like you have uh, embarrassed yourself over. So, uh, that's coming up in a sense where there's, there, there was some sort of, um, experience here for you earth signs where you sort of like you put your foot in your mouth a little bit and you're like oh wow okay I shouldn't have said that or you know it landed you in a bit of hot water so I'm getting a sense that there is um there may be this situation you feel embarrassed I don't think you were caught out doing anything bad I just think I just think there's more like you're beating yourself up about an issue here um but let's see what's what, what's going on with this wheel of fortune I'm intrigued uh, what is that bringing you, Earth Signs? And then I also want to look back into this other person who you've been thinking about a lot. You're, you guys are obviously connecting on an energetic level. It's coming through in the cards.
Okay, there may be a long distance connection that's coming up. It's very unexpected or some of you are like meeting someone. It was very like fleeting. Like you might have been on an Airbnb trip. You might have been on a holiday. This person might have been visiting you. They could be have been on an exchange program or a work transfer. There's a fleeting connection and it's coming back around. So I'm getting this could be a second chance. I really feel like that Wheel of Fortune is sending you a second chance between you and this person. Um, I get that it's someone very attractive and it's someone that a lot of other people want. But this person only wants you. But for some reason, Earth signs you had them as an option. It was They weren't even like your number one choice. Uh, with the Tower card, I get that some of you might have just wanted to use this person, like you might have just wanted to have a bit of fun, probably slept with them maybe, you know, just use them for some entertainment, and probably like you were done with that and there was nothing further. Um, with the Six of Wands, this, this connection meant more to them than you think, okay? So even if it was like a friends with benefits situation or this person was like, no, 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 I don't want anything, I'm good. I don't need a relationship. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I feel like the Tower card and the Four of Swords tells me since since you sort of parted ways, maybe, or since you sort of like haven't seen them, this person has been dying to see you. But their ego is coming into the way, so that's why they're probably not messaging or reaching out. But I feel like deep down, I'm picking up a vibe that this person probably still very much wants you. What's the outcome of this? Wheel of Fortune situation. Okay, Seven of Swords with the Empress. Okay, there's a lot of like, um, a lot of tiptoeing around each other, but I also get insincerity. So I feel like you are coming up as the Empress. I feel like that's your Earth energy, your Earth. You are coming up as, you want something serious with the number three. Outcome is you will want something more stable, more rooted. Them, not so much. Okay, they are... I get that they're not ready or they just want to sort of play around. They want to muck around. It's not going to be enough for you, but they're going to be tiptoeing around you. It's like they don't want to let you go entirely. Um, now, it could be a sense if they are like further away, they could be, be like talking to other people or seeing other people. Like if you guys are in different states or different countries and, you know, you don't have a full blown commitment, then I wouldn't be too surprised if this person is still like sort of playing the field, getting around sort of with the Seven of Swords. I don't reckon you can trust them at this stage. Um, there's definitely a lot of ego blockages that this person has to work through before they get back to you. Um, but let's see what's going on with the situation. Who is this person you and them keep thinking about or looking back, reflecting? Who is this person? could be a Pisces. This person feels like you have unfinished business, strong water energy. I get that this person loves or loved you. You either had plans to have a family, you maybe had a child, lost a child, you wanted to build a family home. Like this was, this was serious. They'd still give you their heart if they could earth signs. Okay. This is bittersweet. And I feel like someone feels like they've had a missed opportunity with you. Now, you know who this is, but the high priestess, they're withholding something and this person is trying to like communicate with you through vibes and be like Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, message me, reach out to me. I still love you. Like, I feel like this is love. So do you have a history with this person? Now, if you don't, it's someone that like grew up with you. Okay. Maybe they looked after you. Maybe they were your best friend's um, siblings or they were a part of your neighborhood, they've shared a life with you somehow. You either went to school together, like you have history. This person saw you grow up or you grew up with them. Uh, Pisces energy, so could be a bit of an, like an alternative person, creative, like into art or media or like a bit of a hipster even, um, money driven. They are successful. But I get, I'm getting like a missed opportunity here. Some of you... This person is going to come up with an offer here. I see them sending you an offer. They're either going to invite you out on a date. They're going to open up the possibility of reconnecting once again. What's the outcome of this? Okay, outcome is seven of pentacles, eight of cups. Out 
outcome is nothing's going to result of it right now. Someone's got their back turned. Someone's going to walk away. Nothing is going to eventuate from this for some reason. That's really sad because I feel like on a subconscious level, you both want each other, but why is nothing happening? Eight of Cups, someone's either turning their back on a situation or it's like maybe Earth signs for you, they tick eight or nine out of the 10 boxes that you have in your criteria. No one's going to be perfect. No one's going to tick all the boxes. And if they're going to tick some, you know, they may change or they might not be so perfect in other ways. Like you have to get the closest thing to perfect for you. And I, ha I hate when I see this because I feel like it's bittersweet. Like you guys can be together, but for some reason you've got your backs turned or you're not ready. Like maybe some things need to happen here maybe more time needs to pass or go by but i feel like with the seven of pentacles you may come together and create some more memories i wouldn't be too surprised but eventually i see someone leaving the situation because something's missing or eight of cups turning your back on each other leaving each other cancer energy could be the past or it could be a cancer um a cancer vibe that's coming through past the past this person could leave you for another ex you could leave them for another ex because um, why why is it not working here i feel like something's going to be missing emotionally or they have to deal with some subconscious things that are going on around them they haven't dealt with yet You can change that around though, Earth Signs. There's always free will. There's always something you can change. Okay, what's the advice? That's that. A couple cards from the universe. What's the advice? Okay, don't jump into anything too quickly because chances are you'll get hurt. So, and don't start anything too quickly either. There's someone, there's some kind of energy where someone's still healing and they can't, they're not in a place where they can give their love. So, yeah, they're not in a place where they're ready or they feel available to give you love or attention this is air energy, so I feel like anxiety, anxiety sometimes hurts us and I feel like there's something that you're, that you get anxious about, but actually you're hurting yourself more than anything. I don't know if you're thinking about some fantastical thoughts here or you're building up these crazy scenarios in your head, but you have to stop because you're the one that's suffering and you're the one that's hurting and it puts you in a dark place. And then when you're in that dark place, it reflects not only on you, but towards your person. And then they're like, you know, what's up? Like, what's going on? Talk to me. So, and then they feel like they're in the dark. So, you know, anxiety can put a lot of, uh, can seed our mind with a lot like of doubts and like us being in dark places and you don't need it, not where you are right now. So just be careful, you know, don't get caught up with things too quickly with the Knight of Swords. There might be someone here wanting to move quicker than you and it can end up hurting really badly if you're not sure, if you're not committed. So you need to take your time in that. The universe wants you to slow down, especially maybe with an air sign or mentally. You know, how how much you say to this person, how much you reveal, how much you commit um, into the connection. I'm going to wrap it up there, Earth Signs. So thank you for watching Taurus Cappy Virgo. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like or become a channel member. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.